Hello again, it's Dr. Chimnadis from Cardiovascular Interventions here in Orlando. And I'm very excited today to bring you a short video on a new tool that we have to manage congestive heart failure. Now, congestive heart failure is one of the biggest problems we have today because it results in numerous admissions to the hospital. And typically, these are cardiac patients who fill up with water in their lungs and they can't breathe very well, they're very short of breath, or they are in pulmonary edema. And oftentimes there's very little clinical warning. Within a day, within a matter of hours, they can't breathe and they end up in the emergency room and sometimes even on a ventilator. So we have always wondered, can't we put a device in the patient where we can preempt this admission, where we can find out ahead of time whether this patient is going to go into congestive heart failure or not. We need some sort of a measuring device that's telling us that the pressures in the lungs are going up and this patient is going to go into pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema means congestive heart failure, water build up in the lungs, the patient can't breathe, the patient has swelling in the legs, weight gain, can't lie down, can't walk without severe shortness of breath, can't talk without shortness of breath. And this congestive heart failure occurs in patients who have good strong heart muscle function and weak heart muscle function. It can occur in both groups. So what is this little tool I'm talking about? This tool is called a CardioMEMS pulmonary artery monitoring device. Big word. And this is a tiny, tiny clip. It is so small. It measures about three millimeters by about eight millimeters at most. And it is suspended in the pulmonary artery. And that's the place in the lungs that water builds up from. So when the pulmonary artery pressures go up, the patient goes into pulmonary edema. So the question really is, how do we put this device into the lung? Well, first I'm gonna tell you, that this device is so tiny that it's delivered via a catheter. It does not have a battery in it. It is made of a very special material that is pressure sensitive. So when there's pressure applied to this device, it can give an electrical and magnetic field around it that then interferes with another field that you can create around it and that change in the field can be detected and monitored and graduated. What that means is that if there's more pressure around this device in your lung, the greater is the pressure in your lungs, we can pick it up. And the advantage is that the pressures in the lungs start going up weeks before the patient gets congestive heart failure. Now I'm gonna repeat that. What that means is that if this device is in the patient, you can pick up congestive heart failure happening a week from now. So while the patient is still asymptomatic, without any shortness of breath, this device is telling you the pressures are going up. So you can then monitor that and say, hey, come on in. We need to make an adjustment to your medication or your dialysis program, for example, or your blood pressure medication, or your diuretic. Because if we don't do anything, one week from now, you're gonna end up in the hospital with congestive heart failure. So this device does not make the patient feel better. It's not a therapeutic device. It's a detection device that will preempt an admission. It's a detection device that will pre prevent you from going to the hospital and basically tell your physician ahead of time that I'm going into congestive heart failure and this device is gonna prevent you from being hospitalized. So let's talk about how we get it in. As I said, it's done through a catheter. So the catheter is a hollow tube and inside that hollow tube, we put that little device and we push it all the way into the lung. And I'm gonna show you how we do it. So the insertion process is a very simple one. It is done in the cardiac catheterization laboratory in the hospital. It's an outpatient procedure. You come in in the morning, you're home by lunchtime, and we go through a vein, not an artery. So the, we can go in from the vein in the groin, 
which many people like, or you can go in from the jugular. So you go into a vein here in the neck or a vein in the groin. So I'm gonna draw in red my catheter as I introduce it. I go up inside the vein with my catheter and under X-ray guidance, I can bring it into the heart, through the right side of the heart, make a curve like this and go into the lung artery, the pulmonary artery, and bring it down into one of the branches on the left side. Once it's positioned there, I can deploy it. Deploy it means I can push it out of the catheter and then it stays behind. So it's a small little clip, of course I'm exaggerating the size. And then I pull back my catheter and I come out and that little device stays inside. And it is suspended in the pulmonary artery. When we're doing this procedure, it's very similar to the right heart catheterization that many of you may already know where we take a catheter and we measure the pressures in the right side of the heart. We will do the pressure readings also during this procedure because then you can calibrate this device so that we know that this pressure correlates to this type of signal. Once the device is in position, it is not going anywhere. It is there permanently. Nothing's gonna to happen to it. It doesn't have a battery. It doesn't rust. It will always be there and it will be able to transfer information to the outside. So how do we do that? How do we get this data out? Well, that's very simple. Basically, we ask the patient to lie down on a special pillow. We'll detect the field around this device and generate a signal. That signal is then placed into our applications program and we can tell from that signal strength what the pressure in the lung is. So, let's say that I'm monitoring this patient. I will get a signal on a daily basis or as often as I choose to do it. And if the signal starts going up, 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 and I know from my calibration that at a certain level here, let's say 18 centimeters of water, this patient is gonna go into pulmonary edema. So it warns me that it's going up and I can call this patient at time day number four and say, hey, listen, your numbers are going up and normally you are pretty good. And I can do an intervention either with the medication, lifestyle change, diet, or programming of devices such as pacemakers or ICDs and I can make that number come back down to the baseline. And that's how it should be. When you see it breaking away, there is a problem. So this device has made our management of congestive heart failure a little easier. In fact, the studies that have already been done show that there's a reduction in hospitalization of almost 60%, probably more like 58% reduction in hospitalization rates. And that's a tremendous advance. And the patient doesn't feel anything. The minor inconvenience is the measurement the patient has to make by lying down on that special pillow for a few minutes and then transmit the information. So this little device is actually approved by most insurances also now. It's been in the making for a long time and we've been eagerly looking forward to having it now available to all our patients. So if a patient has had congestive heart failure and if the patient has recently been hospitalized within the last six months to the hospital, whether they have a weak heart or a stiff heart, if they have congestive heart failure, the situation is the same in both. The pulmonary artery pressures are high. We can detect it through this device and assist in the management. So we are very happy that we are able to do this now. And if you or you know somebody who has had congestive heart failure and you are interested in this particular uh, device, please talk to your provider or come see us. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Dr. Gymnatis again from Cardiovascular Interventions. And if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative, cutting edge cardiology. Thank you.